This video will demonstrate how to properly attach an ARC GIS shapefile to a MicroStation file. Very similar to the way you attach a DGN file to a MicroStation file as a reference file. A couple things that you need to know about the shapefiles. One thing is whenever you attach it you need to make sure your shape files are stored outside of project wise because there's some associated files that go with the shape file and in order for it to attach properly those shape files and those other associated files need to be stored outside of project wise if they're stored inside project wise they will not come over correctly another thing is in your microstation file you need to make sure that you have a coordinate system applied to the file and let's go ahead and double check that so we'll do the select geographic coordinate system and we have a custom system applied to this DGN file so we're good to go there now to attach a shapefile to a microstation file it's very simple we'll just go to the reference icon and let's go to the tools pull down and do an attach We're looking inside ProjectWise right now, so we're going to go ahead and cancel out of it. And then now you'll just navigate to where you're, you have your shape file stored at. It could be the J drive, it could be the T drive, wherever you have them stored at. One thing that you may need to change before you can see your shape files is your filter through here. Normally that's set to CAD files. So if you want to see your shape files, you need to go in here and change that to all files or shape files. So we'll just click on shape files. You select the shape file that you want to attach or shape multiple shape files is however you want to do it. And for this example, I'm going to do the um, D5 cities and then also the wetlands. So I'll hold my control key down and select both of those. Before you actually attach them, you need to change your attachment method. Normally that's set to coincident world whenever you attach a DGN file but whenever you attach the shape file you need to go in here and change that to geographic reprojected okay so we'll select it that way it can read the um, coordinate system that's applied to the DGN file and then however those shape files were outputted from ArcGIS it can read both of those and place it in the MicroStation file where it should be so we have that changed we have our shape file selected go ahead and click on open Now, depending on the size of the shape file and how it is created, it may take a little bit of time for it to attach, so you just, you just have to be patient. And now you'll notice that we have the shape files attached to the DGN file, very similar to the way you attach a um, microstation file. We can go in here and we can undisplay them if we don't want to display them. We can click on this checkmark box. You know, it'll undisplay the shape files depending on which ones that we had selected. If we click it back on, you'll see that here's a shape file for the D5 cities, and here's a shape file for the for the wetlands. So that's how you attach a shape file to a microstation file. Now, kind of a, some neat tricks or tips about the, the shape files is a lot of times it holds data from the shape file how it's created there's some information that's attached to it and to kind of show some of that information you can go to your element information button so we can click on it and if we select one of those items and I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one right here for now you'll notice that you'll see some general information about it you know how it's created and so forth but also we see this wetlands here you can see the kind of the metadata or whatever data you want to call it that's attached or that's with that particular shape okay however it was created you can see all that information about it same thing for maybe one of these um d5 cities if we select one of those and you'll see the shape of it and so forth then if we kind of scroll down a little bit no, scroll back up. You'll see some information about that. You know what what the city is, what the population is at the time, whenever the shapefile was created, what county it's under, and so forth. 
so you can see a lot of that information also so if you got a shape file let's take an example from a um, county accessor office maybe with all the property lines for that particular county you could select that particular property and you can see who owns it what street it's on how many acres it is and so forth very useful information now if you want to keep them as a shapefile referenced into the EGN file you're finished but you can actually take that data and bring it into MicroStation and use it as physical MicroStation data if there was a need to do that and I'll kind of show you a couple things that you may want to watch if you're going to do that right now whenever we take this data and we bring it over into MicroStation we do the merge it'll take the data and bring it into MicroStation but it's going to dump it on the default level so the procedure that I would suggest to do if you're going to merge the data into the MicroStation file is to do each one separate and I'll kind of show you why here in a second so let's go to the reference dialog box and let's say we want to take the wetlands and bring it in as active geometry inside the file so I'm going to go ahead and select it I'll do it tools merge have it selected I'm just gonna go out here and select the view for the merge I'll just left click out here somewhere and they'll say hey you have you have selected one reference to merge into the design file we'll just go ahead and click on OK and now it's merged as actual geometry inside the file you know, notice that it detached the shape file so if we close it out and we select one of these now it's actually selected and we could actually delete it and do some manipulations to it if we needed to whenever that data got brought into the MicroStation file it dumps it on the default level so that's why I just did one that way it allow us to go in here in just a second and actually grab that data that's on the default level and put it on a on a different level maybe a different color and so forth so to do that I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, go to the edit pull down and I'm gonna do a select by attributes and I'll select the default level and do an execute and now you'll notice that all those items that are on the default level are selected and close it down you'll get this warning that says hey such and such just go ahead and click on OK to that but now I can go back to my change attributes tool here and I can change them to whatever parameters that I want maybe I want to put them on a different level or a different color and so forth so for this example I'm going to do scratch one for the level and I'll use the color as blue for my wetlands so all I need to do now is just left click out on the screen somewhere since I have those items selected and then now I'll go out here and go out here and left click to drop it off and you'll notice that everything that was selected is now turned to that blue color and on scratch one so if I wanted to do the same thing for the D5 cities I could do the same thing I can go in here and do my references select it do a tools merge to master left click click on OK let's merge it into the file on the default level now if I go to the edit pull down go to select by attributes again I'll select the default level execute it close it click on OK to that and now if I go back to my change attributes tool and let's change the change the level to maybe scratch scratch five and then the color oh let's change the color to yellow left click on the screen to accept it since they're already selected left click to drop it off and now it's on that color and that level that way it makes it easier for you to maybe break those out if you want to see them different because if we did them all at one time if we selected all those shape files and did a merge into master everything's going to be put underneath that default level the same color style and weight and it would make it very difficult for us to co come back in here and distinguish out our d5 cities our um, 
wetlands and so forth. So that's why it's a better method to do them separately than all at once. Now if they're in here as microstation geometry and we select one of them we can still go into our um, element information button and that data that was basically created from ArcGIS is still that information is still kind of attached to that particular shape that's out there. So if we go down through here you can still see you know the, the acres of it the um, what what kind it is, what kind of wetland is and so forth. Same thing for our our shape for our D5 cities. We can still kind of see it do the same thing. We can say hey what county is it under, the population, if it had a population and so forth and all that information that was kind of created from ArcGIS it can be brought over into the MicroStation file that way you know kind of what that data is. So that is how to attach a shapefile to a MicroStation file properly and also if you want to do the merge you can do that merge portion of it if you really want to do that. If you want to leave it as a shapefile in there that's fine too. That's perfectly fine. So that's it.